unfortunately, uh, not all sarcomas are curable. And there's a s small subset of patients, uh, sometimes not so small, that have progressive disease despite some of the best treatments at recognized sarcoma centers. Those patients uh, are certainly eligible, potentially, for phase one and phase two clinical trials. And the patient and their team should take pause and ask a few very fundamental questions. Are, they, are these treating physicians members of SARC? Are they members of CTOS? Are they looking at the leading edge research that's going on? And if so, uh, that's wonderful. But if not, they should certainly get a second opinion from um, members of these organizations who are really trying to push the envelope. Uh, I don't think uh, that a patient should consider uh, their advanced sarcoma status as a medical emergency. And what I mean by that is they should take pause, as I just said, to think about alternate phase one, phase two type clinical trials and get a second opinion, perhaps from someone who is, uh, has a trial that will work to their advantage over uh, something else that's being proposed. Uh, it's a very, very tricky situation, um, but something that's very important to do.